In today's new normal, where modular and online learning are the trends, there are still things you kids usually do, like doing research. When you do your research, what sources do you think will help you? If you're thinking of using the encyclopedia or dictionary or other online sources, then you are on the right track. Get ready for another day of fun and learning. You and I with Teacher Shaddai. Come and join me and we will explore your favorite classroom on TV together. This is English Hour right here on DepEd TV. Confused and sometimes worried when you're answering your modules? No worries, kids, because today we're going to master the skill of using reference materials. These resources are far more credible and informative than the ones you can find online. Let's begin with this warm-up activity to find out what you already know about using reference materials. Get your pen and paper ready, your eyes and ears steady. All set? Yes, we are! Directions. Visualize the illustrations and label the technology-generated pictures as to what is specified in its given information. Write your answers on your notebook. Are you done? Well, were your answers like this? Picture 1. Answer, dictionary. Picture 2. Answer, atlas. Picture 3. Answer, almanac. Picture 4. Answer, magazines. Picture 5. Answer, Newspaper. Were you able to guess the correct answers? Great! But if not, don't worry because we are here to learn, learn, and learn. The following are the most common reference materials. Encyclopedia, Dictionary, Atlas, Almanac, thesaurus, newspaper and magazines, and non-print resources. For our lesson on using reference materials, I have invited someone who can definitely help us out. Kids, I would like to introduce to you our librarian, who is going to share with us some interesting facts about the different general reference materials you can find in a library. Kids, here is Mom Rachel. Hi, Mom Rachel. We know that there are a lot of reference materials that can be found in the library. Can we start with the encyclopedia? Could you tell us what kind of research information students can get from an encyclopedia, Mom Rachel? Hello, Mom Shadai. Hello, kids. An encyclopedia is a collection of factual articles on all kinds of topics. The titles of these articles are arranged in alphabetical order. People are listed by their last names first. 
the cross references at the end of the article refer you to the articles with information on the same topic. When an encyclopedia consists of several volumes, the last volume is usually an index. So, when pupils want to look for facts about Tosarizal, they should use the encyclopedia. Right, Mom Rachel? That's right, Teacher Shadai. Students can use the encyclopedia for almost any topic. For example, an encyclopedia would be a great source of information if you want to know more about computers. That's really good to know! Another useful material is the dictionary. Mom Rachel, can you tell us more about the dictionary and how it can help our students in their schoolwork? A dictionary lists words alphabetically. These words are called headwords or entry words. The information you get from the dictionary includes the following. Spelling, etymology, parts of speech, antonyms, pronunciation, synonyms, meaning or definition, and syllabication. To find a word in the dictionary, look at the guide words at the top of each page. Usually, there are two guide words, one to show the first word on the page and the other to show the last word on that page. Oh. Thank you for that very comprehensive discussion about the dictionary. But how is it different from a thesaurus? Well, should I, kids, a thesaurus is a book of synonyms. It is helpful for people who want to use a variety of words with the same or almost the same meanings. That's very useful. Kids, don't forget to take note of that. Now, what about an atlas, Mom Rachel? An atlas is a book of maps. It also has an index of countries, cities, and physical features, which is found either on the front or on the back pages of the atlas. To find a given country, look it up in the index. It indicates the page that contains the map you need. Use the coordinates listed in the index to pinpoint the location of a place. Did you get it, kids? And there's another interesting resource material Mom Rachel will be sharing to us. And that is the Almanac. An Almanac is a book published every year. It gives updated information and statistics on many subjects. Like the Almanac of the Philippines, Mom Rachel? Correct, Mom Shadai. That's true. It's the official calendar of the Republic of the Philippines. Mom Rachel, can we now talk about the more common materials that can be used as reference materials? I am referring to magazines and newspapers. Magazines and newspapers are reference materials that provide current information about many topics. Kids, how often do you use magazines and newspapers as your reference? Well, I do hope that you use them often. And now we're done to the last type of reference material that Mom Rachel will be sharing with us, the non-print resources. That's right! The last type of reference material that I will be talking about today is non-print resources. Non-print resources are resources that are not printed on paper. They include picture files of posters, photographs, and copies of works of art. Other non-print sources are films, slides, records, tapes, compact discs, and computer software. Thank you so much, Mom Rachel, for sharing your knowledge on general reference materials. You're welcome, Mom Shadai. Goodbye, kids! Kids, did you learn from Mom Rachel's discussion? Awesome! Oh my! 
What time is it? It's test time. Pens ready? Check. Sheets of paper ready? Check. Here's what we're going to do. Answer yes if the statement is true and no if it is false. Write your answers in your notebook. Number one, the dictionary can be used in getting the meaning of unfamiliar words. Answer, yes. Number two, the encyclopedia would be the best resource to use to look for the pronunciation of a word. Answer, no. Number three, an almanac would be the best to use if you were asked to find the longest river. Answer, yes. Number four, the atlas is the best resource to use if you need to find the location of Cebu. Answer, yes. Number five, the thesaurus would be the best resource to use if you need another word for quiet. Answer, yes. Amazing! All set for more? Don't put away your pen and paper. Directions. From the terms in the box, identify the appropriate reference material to be used to locate these pieces of information. Almanac, non-print, encyclopedia, magazines, newspaper, atlas, dictionary, thesaurus. Number one. Words with the same meaning as rendezvous. Number two, the definition of the word jeopardy. Number three, short video clips about World War II. Number four, the origin of the word homonym. Number five, explanation of biochemistry. Number six, the seven wonders of nature. Number seven, bodies of water surrounding the Philippines. Are you done? Let us now check your answers. Number one, words with the same meaning as rendezvous. Answer, thesaurus. Number two, the definition of the word jeopardy. Answer, dictionary. Number three, short video clips about World War II. Answer, non-print resources. Number four, the origin of the word homonym. Answer, dictionary. Number five, explanation of biochemistry. Answer, encyclopedia. Number six, the seven wonders of nature. Answer, almanac. Number seven, bodies of water surrounding the Philippines. Answer, atlas. How did you do? Did you get the correct answers? No worries, we're here to learn, learn, and learn.
Oh, do you hear the clock ticking? Uh-huh. Yes, it's a recap time. What are the most common general references? One, encyclopedia. Two, dictionary. Three, thesaurus. Four, atlas. Five, almanac. Six, newspaper and magazines. Seven, non-print resources. Let's make sure that we will still remember what kind of information they contain. An encyclopedia is a collection of factual articles on all kinds of topics. Dictionaries list words alphabetically with their corresponding meanings, spelling, pronunciation, parts of speech, etymology, antonyms, synonyms, and syllabication. A thesaurus is a book of synonyms. An atlas is a book of maps, indices of countries, cities and physical features like rivers, deserts, and mountain ranges. An almanac is an annually published book with updated information and statistics on many subjects. Newspapers and magazines provide current information about many topics. And non-print resources include posters, photographs, copies of works of art, films, slides, records, tapes, compact discs, and computer software. All set for more? What are you waiting for? Grab your pen and paper. Ready? Let's begin! Directions. Write the letter of the correct answer that corresponds to the general reference the item is referring to. Number one. You are participating in the spelling bee at your school. The teacher says a word you do not know. When you ask her to give you the definition, where might the teacher get this information? A. Almanac B. Directories C. Thesaurus D. Dictionary Number 2 you are reading a book and you have encountered a difficult word. You would like to know its synonyms to figure out what its definition is. Where can you find the synonym for this word? A. Dictionary B. Almanac C. Thesaurus D. Encyclopedia Number 3 you are tasked by your social studies teacher to get current information about the number of dengue cases in Western Visayas. Where can you get this up-to-date information about the outbreak? A. Almanac B. Encyclopedia C. Newspaper D. Magazines Number 4. Your science teacher has given you the task of giving the information on the number and names of typhoons that hit the Philippines in the year 2018. What book will give you that list? A. Almanac B. Encyclopedia C. Atlas D. Newspaper Number 5. Your teacher assigned you to get the information about Tamaraos. She particularly asked you to gather information about its way of living in the forest. Where would you get this information? A. Encyclopedia B. Magazine C. Almanac D. Newspaper Let's now check our answers. Number 1. You are participating in the spelling bee at your school. The teacher says a word you do not know. When you ask her to give you the definition, where might the teacher get this information? Answer, letter D. Dictionary. Number 2. You are reading a book and you have encountered a difficult word. 
You would like to know its synonyms to figure out what its definition is. Where can you find the synonym for this word? A. Dictionary or letter C. Thesaurus Number 3 you are tasked by your social studies teacher to get current information about the number of dengue cases in Western Visayas. Where can you get this up-to-date information about the outbreak? Answer, letter C, newspaper. Number four, your science teacher has given you the task to give the information on the number and names of typhoons that hit the Philippines in the year 2018. What book will give you that list? Answer, letter A, Almanac. Number five, your teacher assigned you to get the information about Tamaraus. She particularly asked you to gather information about its way of living in the forest. Where would you get this information? Answer, letter A, encyclopedia. Wow, you all did great! Two shoulder taps on the left, two shoulder taps on the right, and high five! Today, we learn more about the use of general references. Yes, we all did! Believe and together we can! This has been another day of thinking, doing, and learning right here in your favorite classroom on TV, The English Hour. This has been your teacher, Shadai, saying, Learn English today and your dreams are just a word away. Keep it right here on Deped TV. Goodbye, everyone.